Hello you guys, welcome to PJ's channel, Everyday with PJ. So today we're going to do a re reaction video. Um, I'm not exactly sure, PJ just has me doing this. I guess he needs some more followers, so he's just going to be using me as cloud, I guess. So let's see what video he has me watching and reacting to. You to be on some shit. Wow, sheet. that's what we doing? What about? You just got my number upstairs. Hey, and now you with a whole nother chick. This is my girlfriend. That's your girlfriend? This is my really? Girlfriend? That's your man? So that's what you was doing upstairs? Baby, I don't even know this woman. He just got, he just took my number upstairs. You been drinking? He just took my number upstairs. Check his phone. I asked that's you what, what time it was. Check his phone. That's what we doing. Man, don't even believe it. We coming this out to a venue yeah. and you hollering at other women? Really? I don't even. I don't you, don't, you don't got my number? You're crazy. You don't got my number. You're delusional. You don't have my number. Drugs. You don't have my number. You need Check his phone, boo. Let me see your phone. He Check just, my phone. He just, he just Let stored me, me on the new boo. Open it up. New wow. So that's a bold move for her to actually go up. I actually wish more women would do this and be like extremely upfront. Um, I mean, she didn't have to record it and call the scene. It looked like she looking for some cloud doing that. But um, I don't see nothing wrong. But man, y'all better watch what y'all doing. Let's see what else she. What? Let's see what the rest of what happened. The rest of what happened. New boo. Yes. I don't even know you. You just took my number. I've been doing drugs. Check his phone. Call my phone. I, I bet it don't ring. Phone. Call my phone. I no, bet it don't check ring. his phone. He Call my phone. It. I bet it don't ring. Oh, so you gave me a fake number? Even know you were just hollering at me upstairs. All right, we out of here. I don't have oh, that? Oh, okay. So that's what we do. Yeah, yeah. See, this is why y'all ain't shit. Yeah, you ain't, ain't shit. shit. Hey, you, know what? you ain't hey, shit. Hey, fuck you. Fuck you too. Fuck you then. Fuck your sister. And you bow legged. Listen. You bow legged. Listen, sister. Don't leave him. He ain't shit. 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 Don't call me. Don't don't text me. Don't text me. Don't call me. You a loser. You ain't shit. Okay, sister, run, run, sister, cause he ain't shit. He ain't shit, and he got his butt cheeks hanging out. Well, huh? Well, well, well. She ain't hold back. Um, first of all, that little hoe, him cussing at her, stuff like that, um, telling her she lying. Like you shouldn't even engage if you ain't got nothing going on. You need to just head to the car and go on. Um, and then if you ain't got nothing to hide, why you won't show that phone? You see me, um, I'm usually probably like, I'm probably not going to make a scene and like, I wouldn't like all that. If I was to ever do that to a girl, like tell her like, Hey, your boyfriend just gave me his number. I'd probably just like tell her on the sly. And if I had his number, like I'd be like, I didn't know this before. Um, and here, let me call his phone or his number that he gave me, or just probably just show her. I mean, you, I mean, I'm sure she knows his number, so show her the number that he gave you. Um, but you know, these men be sneaky anyway because they be having these burner phones and stuff too, so you can't even trust that either. Um, I wish, like, I know there's this like whole stigma about like, oh, I'm gonna stay out of it, I'm not gonna tell a girl this because of she's not gonna trust me, she's not gonna believe me, she's not gonna whatever. Like, cut all that, cut all that. I think that if more people like held people accountable, like probably people wouldn't do as uh, so many of the things that they do to women. If like women actually like stuck together and was like, "Hey, like, I'm sorry to tell you this, but this man is probably not the man that you want to be spending your life with because he's still doing X, Y, and Z." But then sometimes you might want to mind your business because you never know what kind of uh, relationship that people have going on but usually i mean you can tell that if you quietly go tell somebody you might be like oh well sis i sent him over there because i like you and i you know the world is crazy these days so you never know actually what is really truly going on in people's relationships and lives in x y and z so there's that um i will say if somebody ever asks me anything about their man and their man has done something like tried to get at me and it was like a clear get at me because some of y'all be like oh he tried to get at me he was in my inbox he was talking to me okay was he single or did i mean somebody saying oh you look nice today oh you look beautiful it's not cheating it's not trying to get at you like y'all can't even take compliments sometimes these days so i mean i wouldn't worry about that but Y'all need to like, like if he did something like got the number, like she's saying that he did, then yeah, you probably need to like check your boyfriend and figure that out. Um, but I would personally, me, I, if somebody asks me something, I'm going to tell them. 
like if it's truly something i'm gonna tell them if it's not something that's a big deal like i'm probably not because you know i don't want to misconstrue what someone could have been innocent but we know how that goes um something that could have been innocent and actually like ruin someone's relationship um so <sighs> yeah that's a that's a little tough when she might have to uh go ahead and make him give her that password see for me like pj he know i'll be having a password to everything and you know you could tell me anything that something in x y and z done happen but i probably already know and it could have been we broke up for a day but he be getting cussed out i mean that's a whole nother story but anyways one word of advice that i can give y'all um i think that most women need to do like when you first you in the honeymoon stage with um some guy and you're like oh like how do you feel about us having each other's passwords how do you feel about us having our locations on like all of that stuff you need to like do that in the honeymoon stage you don't do that whenever like as the relationship goes on you do it in the beginning because they're more inclined to give it to you i swear like probably every guy that i've dated has like given me their password to like everything social media location on etc and it's not because i didn't trust them it's just like i framed it in a way in the beginning that like you know they didn't think anything of it and they were in the honeymoon stage so they wanted to do anything ideally to make me happy so, you know, and then I'm just nosy, too. So, and then, you know, where they at, what they doing, who they talking to, and uh, nobody can really tell you anything that you don't know, even him. Like, dude. And sometimes these guys be stupid, too. Like, one thing that I hate, um, one thing I be trying to tell PJ a lot, I be like, dude. Y'all men do not understand, like, how women are manipulators, honestly. Women are manipulators in the sense that, like, if they used to date you and they want to, they see you happy, they see you with somebody else, they reminisce on that, think that, you know, the person you are to that new person is the person that they wanted you to be, and so now they're envious of it, or they want you back because of the fact that they really probably loved you and cared about you, but you weren't the same person you are with the person you're with now than you were with your ex. And so they do little things and, um, like, you know, maybe seem innocent to guys, like text you oh your favorite movie oh i did this oh i did this is you know like so stay over there why why you now see us on facebook on instagram on wherever on vacation and you trying to why are you texting why why are you texting because i know i checked his phone right when i got with him you hadn't texted five months don't be coming over here now that you see him over here happy men do the same thing too because i did notice like when I would post on social media, uh, like photos and stuff like that, they would um, then try to text my phone. Boy, you blocked. You blocked. You blocked. You can't get in. You blocked. And then like want to write me on, um, on social media like, oh, so you got my phone number blocked? Oh, I thought, oh, you got a little boyfriend? Oh, I'm like, yes. And what does that concern you? So, women be sneaky, men be sneaky. The only thing difference is, like, I can see it every time when I get in a relationship and dealing with somebody else and one of my exes know they always want to, I miss you, I love you to death, and I want you back, you to death. And women be doing the same thing. And really, women usually don't even want the man back. They just don't want you to have the man. Or they feel some type of way because that man wasn't the same man that he was, um, he is with you that he was with her. And so it don't got nothing to do really with that man. It's just being jealous. Um, mainly it's jealousy. Jealousy and just being um, selfish, ideally, usually. Well, anyways, y'all, that's all I got for today. Um, comment, like, and subscribe. This is actually probably like my first video doing it by myself. And this is very weird. Cause usually PJ talks a lot and then I can kind of just like sit in the background but I told y'all he needs some little followers so he trying to you know trying to use me for cloud <laughs> bye y'all have a good day